What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Friday night party night I guess for some. January 29th, 8, 12, uh, 12 p.m. and this is the year 2021. I forgot to include that in there. Uh, but uh, 8, 12 p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake 2.6 out there in the Puerto Rico area. Taking a look at the uh, trimmer map here real quick. Let me show you guys what's going on here with the trimmer. Quite a bit of movement up there. Uh, around the Vancouver Island area along the Cascadia subduction zone 663 epicenters in this area alone a couple yes a couple here subtract a few uh, for that little speck there in the Oregon Washington border area but other than that that's a major movement up there along the Cascadia in this specific part of the uh, of the Cascadia zone there northern part and I believe that's kind of what's playing the part of some earthquake activity off the coast or inland I should say if you really think about it the trimmer uh, it's going on down below the surface area right here so ultimately it's not only uh, adding pressure on the back fold here along the Cascadia subductions on the locked section but potentially also creating surface quaking here inland and uh, I think that's what's going on there with the uptick in activity across the Cascades here uh, into uh, Washington and whatnot Specifically, some somewhere around the volcanoes, yes. Mount Rainier seeing some more activity around the region there. Just a couple small microquakes. Uh, looks like there was a couple explosions there to the north as well. But the majority of this activity around the Oregon-Washington uh, region, about 20 or, 20 or so kilometers downstream there. There's that uh, 1.3 microquake at about 20 kilometers. And uh, some further deep movement there up to the north. So... No doubt, uh, firmly believe that the uh, trimmer is playing a major part in the uh, surface quaking that's going on up here in that region. Uh, we'll check out the uh, volcanic uh, maps here real quick. Hold on one second. Of Mount Rainier, you can see a couple of small earthquakes there. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, let's check out the um, seismograph stations here real quick. My dog wants out. I should have let him out before I did the update, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so looking on that map, there's. Let, let me let's go back here and see if we can see what's going on here. You know, there's. Uh, I think we looked at this before, and this goes back a little ways to. I'm not for sure if this is any type of uh, uh, maybe snow movement, ice movement. You know, I'm not for sure exactly how much snows up there on. Mount Rainier, I don't, I don't know exactly uh, what that looks like, but far as earthquake activity um, today, it's there's none marked, but it definitely looks like there is some activity popping up there on that station. Uh, let's go back here and check out this other one here to the west, around the uh, Mount Rainier, Washington region, if it's going to let me. Sometimes it's a little slow. Sometimes it just hangs up for some oddball reason. I'm not for sure why, but it does. Okay, there we go. That took forever. Let's go to the previous uh, previous day there, and you can see not a whole lot of movement there. Maybe maybe a couple small spikes there, but uh, this instrument reading is pretty uh, mellowed out, meaning that uh, well, it's not uh, picking up too much activity there at the Mount Rainier area. So it's kind of hard to decipher what's going on there um, with the uh, earthquakes around the region, uh, you know, according to the USGS, but uh, nothing, like I say, there's nothing big. Then again, these are uh, uh, definitely contributed to the trimmer movement that's taken place uh, today. I firmly, firmly believe that. Even some activity inland there into the Cascades of Oregon Right around the, uh, what do we got here? Zoom into this lake area, Newberry Crater. Hmm, a couple earthquakes there on the negative side, a couple microquakes. I don't think I've ever been up here to this uh, region. Looks pretty cool, I might have to visit that. I've been up to Crater Lake before, beautiful area, but uh, south of Bend, I'll have to remember that. So yeah. Uh, in Northern California, pretty quiet uh, along the San Andreas Fault, the plate boundary there. 
little uptick in swarming right around the San Andreas Fault, the creeper section, the creeping section, or at least to the north, right around that region of the uh, Bear Valley Fault. Nothing big, just like a few microquakes and whatnot popping off there in that little swarm northeast of Soledad, right on the San Andreas Fault system as we shoot our way down south here. Uh, not a whole lot of new activity report there in the southern part of the state. Ridgecrest looking about the same as Nevada as well. A little 2.3 near Tom's Place there northeast of Mammoth Lakes Super Volcano. Long Valley Super Volcano, I should say. Uh, and not a whole lot of movement up here in the uh, Yellowstone National Park region either. Pretty quiet. But uh, definitely... Uh, uh, some interesting movement there along the Cascadia with the uh, high amount of trimmer there in the northern section there. Worldwide, Hawaii seeing a pretty good influx of earthquakes there in that same region there in the southeast corner. Um, that's been going on for uh, a couple years now. Other than that, uh, some newer activity well off the coast there. This little 2.5 striking way southwest of the island. Well, maybe not way out there. <laughs> if you were to swim, that'd be way out there. But about 56 kilometers here uh, southwest of Cook, Captain Cook, Hawaii. 2.5 at uh, 38 kilometers down below the surface. Activity has not really ramped up over here in the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Still just some uh, moderate sized quakes, not even really nothing to write home about. This activity is pretty standard when it comes to movement, but no major earthquake activity to report uh, aside from that. A uh, little 5.6 um, that's kind of kicked up a little. Let's see what this is here. That's way off the coast too. Not for sure why they got that thing highlighted yellow. Maybe somebody reported filling that. Uh, that's a ways off there, too. Hmm. All right, well, other than that, folks, not a whole lot to report here on this Friday night. Uh, it's more movement down there south of the South America region in the Antarctica area. Kind of in that region where we've seen uh, some movement there last week. A couple aftershocks. All righty, guys. Have a good Friday night, please stay safe out there. It is crazy, right? All the crazies come out on Friday night. But, uh, you know, people like me, it's just I just want to stay home and avoid all the craziness. <laughs> Be in my little safe spot, right? I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Have a good night. We'll chat you guys sometime tomorrow. Peace out.